Nobody likes ticks. Their bites hurt, they itch, and they can transmit disease. Plus, it's just creepy having an eight-legged vampire sucking your blood. I'm Anthony with Backyard Ecology, and today I'm going to give you seven tips to avoid ticks while you're outside. Tip number one, get tucked. Simply tuck in your shirt. This will help keep ticks from getting inside your waistband. Also, if your boots are tall enough, tuck your pants into your boots. Again, this will just make it a longer distance for the ticks to go. If your boots are not tall enough for your pants to tuck into, you can tuck your pants into your socks. I don't like to do this because it stretches out your socks, plus your socks get torn up on briars. So I use a product called Tick Gaiters. Tick Gaiters are basically just a tight, stretchy sleeve that um, closes the gap between your boot tops and your pant legs. Plus, they keep your shoelaces from getting untied and keep your shoelaces from getting shredded on uh, briars. Tip number two, avoid the thick stuff. If you don't have to crawl through thick brush and weeds, don't. Uh, it sounds simple enough, and sometimes you can't do it, but it will reduce your tick load. Also, when you're walking down a mowed trail, stay in the middle of it so you're not brushing against the brush and weeds on the sides. This will help keep ticks from getting on you. Tip number three, use a repellent. Tick repellents are very effective at keeping ticks off of you, but they have to have a few things. They have to have 20 to 30% of the active ingredient in the repellent. Uh, the two most commonly used and effective repellents are DEET and Picaridin. Uh, DEET's been around for a long time. It's basically what we all know as bug spray. Um, Picaridin's a newer product, uh, also equally effective at uh, repelling ticks. Its big advantage is it doesn't feel as greasy when you spray it on your skin. Uh, both last a little bit less uh, length of time uh, repelling ticks than they will for repelling mosquitoes and biting flies, so you'll have to reapply them a little more frequently. Uh, some people are using repellents that have oil of eucalyptus, uh, lemon eucalyptus in them. Uh, varying reports on how effective these are, but there are plenty of studies out there that show DEET and picaridin are very effective. If you're finding this video informative, please be sure to hit that like button. Tip number four, and probably the most effective way to keep ticks off of you in the woods are permethrin clothing sprays. Uh, permethrin clothing sprays are not repellents. They are actually an insecticide that is safe to use on clothing. Uh, you apply it to your clothes the day before you're going out or a week before you're going out. Um, you spray them on, they dry, and once dry they are perfectly safe and uh, they will last for quite a while. You, most of them will last six washes or six weeks uh, depending on the product. Please follow the instructions on the product label uh, for optimum performance of these items. I use it on all my clothing. It's why you see me wearing the same kind of things in most of these videos uh, because I'm wearing my tick-proofed clothes. Tick uh, numbers on me have dropped dramatically since I started using permethrin clothing sprays. Links to products that I've mentioned in this video are in the description below. Tip number five, launder your clothes. Um, first stop once you get back home after being out working in the woods or out enjoying nature is to stop in your laundry room, take off all your outdoor clothing, and wash it. Uh, washing clothes immediately after returning will remove all ticks from it. They, they cannot take hot water and soap in a washing machine. If you have clothes that aren't very soiled and you don't really want to wash them at that time, you can put them in a dryer on high heat for 10 minutes and this will also kill all ticks on them. Ticks cannot take dry heat. It, it absolutely destroys them. Tip number six, take a shower. Hopefully you don't have any ticks on you, but getting in a shower immediately after laundering your clothes uh, using nice warm to hot water and soap will wash any ticks that are not embedded right off of you and straight down the drain. Um, it's your last real line of defense to keep them from getting embedded in you if they are already on you. Tip number seven, tick check. Uh, the last thing you need to do after returning home after you get a shower is do a thorough tick check. It helps if you have a buddy to do this. Uh, because you are literally going to have to check every place. Ticks love to get in little nooks and crannies. I will let your imagination fill in where they can get, but I have literally taken ticks off of just about every part of me you can imagine. Sometimes you have to have a buddy to find them. 
Um, be sure to check between your toes and your belly button. You kind of get the idea. They can be anywhere. The faster you find them, the easier they are to remove and the less chance you have of, of having a disease transmitted to you. Um, if you get them off right after you take a shower, you're probably gonna be okay. They're gonna come off real easy. I hope you found this video helpful to learn more about native plants, native animals, habitat management, and exploring nature in your backyard. Be sure to subscribe to the Backyard Ecology channel. Thanks for watching.